Um, so it's a pretty exciting day. Uh, I finally pulled the trigger and purchased the Skywatcher uh, HEQ 6R Pro and so hopefully it'll get here pretty quickly and I can do an unboxing for you guys. Um, so yeah, it looked like a two day shipping so hopefully it'll get here pretty quick. Alright guys, here we are. We're going to do an unboxing of, um, it is an equatorial mount and it is, um, it is a beast. So, uh, here we go. The only thing that I've done so far, I've opened the big, uh, the bigger box and just, you know, made, just peeked inside, uh, while I was at work and that's, that's it. So, here we are after work. We're going to open the boxes now and see what everything looks like and get the first impression here. side here that's going to lock into the uh, counterweight shaft there should be another one of these somewhere I'm hoping that there's that there's nothing wrong with it here. It should be all right. Um,
there's a little reticle inside of this polar scope that um, will have a clock dial on it and I'll see if I can show you guys here in a second but it has a clock dial on it and it uh, you use an app and it'll show you where Polaris is supposed to be and you use that clock and using these knobs and this knob here you uh, you adjust it until Polaris is like right in the uh, where it says where the app tells you it's supposed to be so if you look on the side here here is um here we go. okay if you look on the side here we got our latitude adjustment here this tells you uh, your latitude here is uh, uh, for auto guiding um, here's your hand controller port and here is if you're hooking a USB power cable and on off switch which I really like the way they did this okay there's a few things you need to do when you get a new mount so the first thing is you have to set your home position and the second thing is you have to make sure that your polar scope here is properly collimated to your right ascension which um, I was going to make a separate video about it, but I'm going to go ahead and say it now. Um, it is super important that you do this, and they, nobody ever tells you. And It was something that I learned down the road after I had already been using my mount for a while. And when I learned this, um, after I fixed this problem, it, I was able to go three to four times longer on my exposures. And it really helped me, and I tried to look up. Um, different tutorials and it was very hard to find and so but for now we're just going to talk about setting the home position so what we're going to do now the home position is the position that you see the telescope in when it's just uh, sitting pointing north um, and there's an actual uh, setting here that where you set it to where this is uh, at, at its uh, lowest point of gravity here so the way to do that you, you use these setting circles here so what we're going to do let me raise this up a little bit let's come in a little closer okay so the way you do this you get your mount level make sure make sure that it's level so we're gonna go ahead and check that um, my bubble looks pre I might have gotten lucky uh, there's a bubble on this on the mount itself here and it looks like it's dead center um, so I might have gotten lucky they're usually not exactly right and they're uh, usually a little off so I always use one of these and that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do now I'm gonna go ahead and check So what you do now, you take your level, once you're actually level, and you loosen your right ascension here. Loosen the clutch on your right ascension. And you're going to move this. You're going to take your level here. And you want to get it to where it's exactly level here. You're going to lock your clutch. Okay. Now the setting circle here. I'll take you in for a closer look. Okay, this right here. You have these uh, these rings on your mount here that spin around. And... There's one right here, and there's one up here. So what we're going to do, there should be a little arrow indicator, which is right here on the side. So what we're going to do, while that's perfectly balanced here on your right ascension, you're going to take this dial and I'm going to go ahead and just find 
if you take it to the right here, it's like a it's like a clock. You got one through twenty four, and it goes back all the way back around. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna find zero on here. Okay. And you wanna get this exactly on zero. So here's what you do. Once you get that perfectly locked on zero, You're going to tighten the little grub screws. They can kind of be a pain sometimes if you got bigger fingers. We're going to loosen the clutch. And then we're going to move this arrow. It was on zero. So we're going to See the, the grub screws lock that in there. So we know we were on zero, so we can put it right back on zero. But we're just gonna bring this around all the way till it's on six. We basically are moving at six hours. So we basically just we use this ring just as um as an angle measurement here, so Lock your clutch down. And I like to go ahead and take take your permanent sharpie here or a pen or whatever and And if you mess up, just take you a little bit of solvent, clean it off. Okay, so now if we move this, now we know even if this uh, even if this dial becomes loose, we know that right there where this, this line meets the arrow here, that is our right ascension home position. So we'll go ahead and we're gonna lock that in. And the way we do this, take our level here. And you can actually uh, just use the, uh, the dovetail clamp here to hold your your level in and you're going to loosen the clamp and you're going to find where it's level right perfectly level right in the middle okay You can see it's perfectly level. We're gonna take this this dial here. We're gonna loosen the grub screws. Okay, we have an arrow indicator here. So we're gonna loosen our grub screws. Okay, and we're gonna put this we're going to find over here, we're going to put it on 90, 90 degrees here. Okay, when it's perfectly on 90 degrees, lock down the grub screws. Okay, now that you have that set, your ring's not going to move. Loosen your clutch and you 
guessed it. You're gonna turn that right back around till it's on zero, exactly on zero. Lock the clutch. And that is your declination home position. And it's as simple as that. Um, you can take another another marker here. First impressions of the mount. It looks really solid and sturdy. Um, looks really good. Um, I'm pretty excited to get it out and test it in the field, which I should get a clear sky tomorrow night. So. There's this loud hiss. I don't know if you can hear it. Uh, never heard that before. gonna take some getting used to but it looks like it works so we'll go down here to um, utility function show position we're gonna scroll down here to park scope home position First impressions is great. It looks uh, it looks greatly built. Um, kudos to uh, High Point Scientific uh, for getting it to me in two days, and kudos to Skywatcher for paying attention to quality build. And I will do a full review on this mount when I get it out in the field and try it out. So, so until next time, guys. Your skies.